Good morning, guys. This is Stephen Howard. My dog, Yucca. Yucca always tries to get closest to the heater if she can. Um, I have a really funny reason for being this upset this morning. Um, I got a call this morning from a friend in Las Vegas and he wants me to be a, a personal assistant to him. He's a casino executive. So I'll basically be like a production assistant for a casino executive running errands and getting them lunch and doing whatever they need done. Uh, he offered me $35,000 a year plus benefits to start. Plus there's an opportunity to probably have a new vehicle and uh, things to be, I don't know, a lot better, I guess, financially. Um, I've been struggling in Montana, living out of a trailer on acreage, driving an old Suburban, wearing the same clothes, and I love my clothes. I love Montana. But I've really had a hard time making a living here. Working for $15 an hour or so, and it's always hand to mouth and not enough hours. So what I'm really upset about is leaving, leaving the way Montana feels. It feels like my home. I have an ex-wife and a, a baby girl in Las Vegas and they're doing fine without me. <laughs> but uh, I have the opportunity to, you know, pay my child support properly and take care of things. And I'm just going to, I guess, sacrifice myself and my own, my own dreams uh, to do it. So, uh, <sighs> I found the love of my life last summer. I thought she would have left her situation or something and would have come back to me and, you know, 35,000 a year would be a drop in the bucket if I was, if I was in a relationship with her. <laughs> but he's not everything. Uh, I was truly in love and I had my heart broken really bad. I've been waiting around here for a couple of months trying to figure out if I'm single or not or if they were really my soulmate or not. We had a three-year plan that her her children would go off to college and she would finally have an empty nest. And we would just be together, you know, when we could and until then. But then something happened before the holidays last year and she broke it off and ghosted me and never speak to me again type of thing. All of my intuition tells me that she was afraid of the love and afraid that I was just some some Klingon or some loser. I hope through my videos and everything that she has seen that I'm, I'm really worthy and that I'm, I was really there because I was in love and money doesn't matter and I would stay here and struggle till the end of time. But there's been no reach out. There's no been no uh, communication. I've been struggling to hold it together. I had my my breakdown publicly on YouTube. 
so you guys can all see what us men go through. That it's not just you women. That all of us as human beings go through the same things. If we're really in love, I would have died for her. So, uh, I've uh, taken the job. I'm, I'm going to do my taxes today. I have a uh, an appointment with my probation officer. Probably going to transfer my probation back down there, which really scares me too. So, uh, I just need you to pray for me and wish me luck. Um, I'm still single. I'm going down there alone. And I guess I'm going to try and figure it out. It'll put me closer to LA, which, uh, will give me an opportunity to get the movie looked at. I just really hope for the best. I really don't want to leave this paradise that I have made for myself. Me and Yucca really love Montana. We just can't make a living here right now. If you guys are are in uh, business or you're hiring and somebody's a, a felon but they don't look like they're they're a bad person and they have a good track record and great references take a closer look because you know maybe the felony is keeping them held back maybe whatever they did wasn't so bad maybe they were actually a hero Maybe they had the best intentions all the way through and life just didn't work out for them the way they had planned. I'm just gonna keep being strong, keep trying to inspire you guys that no matter what you feel like, there's still hope, there's still opportunities and there's still a way. I love you guys. Always come from love. It pays off. <laughs> Always do a, a better job than you would want done for you. Always be the best that you can be. Anyway, one love today, guys. I really need your prayers. Thanks. Here I am crying over $35,000 a year in full benefits. <laughs>